Simplify. Careful with those signs. And the team that will go next, let's say John's team is one, two, three, Antonella's team is four, five, six. Three. So John's team. This is on your paper, it's 148D, right? This is on your homework paper for today, it's 148D. What do you need before you can add or subtract fractions? Common denominators. This is one of the tougher problems, but it kind of makes sense that we're doing it together then. Ooh, passing out papers, that's what should happen. Also, I interrupt your previously scheduled homework solution time, or whatever you want to say. Lucas, just a second. Turn in your homework from last week. If I fully update math, a ton of you guys are going to be missing like two or three things for me. So, last week, everything up through 626 was due. Right? We'll leave 627 to be due till tomorrow, but like everything up through 626 and the mini mastery follow up should be turned in. So, if you pull out your binder right now, if you have any of that stuff, you owe it to me. You should have done it over the weekend. If you didn't, Mistake. So I'm passing stuff out, but if you don't get much back, you probably owe me. No, but we have to have work shown. It's all good. I, I, you're fine. Just work with somebody else. If you really want like other writing on your paper, you can have Vanessa write on your paper or somebody else if you want. But that's up to you. Like, we'll probably have to excuse you from some stuff for the while you are in that break. Yeah, 
One minute. I know I'm going fast. One minute. Make sure your whole team knows what's going on. Oh, yeah. And I should hear a lot more conversation. Okay, does everyone have the answer? Does everyone know how we got to the answer? This was Isabella's team, right? Seconds. You do not have to reduce your answer. You do not have to reduce your answer. All right, Carmen, what does your team have? Negative 135 over 66 is correct. Because guys, when we look at the denominators of 11, 3, and 6, the first common denominator is at 66. So I multiply by 6 over 6, multiply by 22 over 22, making this 44, and 11 over 11, making this 55. But... All of these values are negative. Whether we look at these as minuses or negatives, they're all pulling in the negative direction. So you could say plus negative if you want to, or you could say minus, but I feel like minus is like a little bit tougher to understand. We have a negative and another negative and another negative. Taking us to this correct answer, thank you, Carmen's team. I don't know what your team name is yet. Who are you? Dang team Dang It. So send somebody up to the tower. <laughs> you guys are? Your team name? Okay. Well, team name, send somebody up to the tower, and then go do your points. So you can do points, but you also have to do the tower, right? All right. John's team, where you're going to shuffle up. Vanessa, pick a number that is not 11. Seven? Ha! Huh. Guys, these are randomized. You just happen to pick two of the same type of problems in a row. Because we just did 11, now this is seven. Middle blocks. Hey, reminder. Hey, friends. Real quick, reminder. Here's the points. Your team answer earns you four. Middle blocks are worth three. So then you'd have seven total. Outer block is worth five, so you could have nine total, right? So you could either get like seven or nine on a turn, depending on which block you do. If you knock the tower over, you lose 10 points. Back to problem seven. Seven, nine, and three.
You guys are ready with your hands? All right. <clears throat> Mia, what answer did your team land on? 25 over 63 is correct. So here's how we got there. What was the common denominator you chose? 63. Meaning the multiplications we had to do was 9 over 9, 7 over 7, 21 over 21. Hold up. Hey, guys. If you're talking at the same time as me, great. I'm really proud that you know what you're doing. But zip it because all your classmates don't have as much confidence. 7 times 4, 28. And minus a negative becomes plus a positive. So this, 42. So we have one negative value to be careful about. But then we do all that addition, we get positive 25 over 63. So send somebody up to the tower, and then we uh, will keep rolling. That was seven. Aiden, pick a number that still exists here. It's randomized, dude. Just pick a number. 20. Solve for this missing side. Good thing it's up on the board since my copies are goofed up. Uh, I mean... I sent these all to the printer like two weeks ago and did not realize my copy got goofed. So I should go fix it. Yep, because I have broken this up into other pieces. So the other parts of the problem are hidden in the uh, the other problems.
Alright, I have fixed that on the worksheet so future generations of phoenixes. It's not helping you, it's up on the screen! Or use homework help. Be careful though, you gotta figure out which sides can actually relate to each other. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, you could go ahead and answer question A, even though this is really like part of question B. On your paper, 143. A says, what's the scale factor? That's not really what this is asking. This is asking, solve the question mark. But to solve the question mark, you gotta solve the scale factor. Uh, Aiden's team, we'll go like one minute if you even need that long. And if you get this one done, you can go ahead and look at other problems on the worksheet. Make sure we're looking at sides that actually correspond with each other. Match up. I'm just colored. I'm bored. I'm colored. You guys don't just color when you get bored. 20 seconds. Ten, uh, five seconds. Two and one. And Farah, what did your team decide for that missing side on the bottom? You have ten seconds. Talk. Talk. They had a goof, and then they caught themselves, and they went back, and they fixed themselves, but... Okay. Well, Kylie, what is your answer? Four. That is not what the question was asking. So, well, hold on. This is where, like, maybe you misunderstood what I'm shooting for. You're trying to solve that question mark. Is that what you guys were solving, or what do you mean? Why did you give me four? Aiden, can you pull it out? Eight. But what do you mean? Hey, what so do the winners actually side. get? Nothing. We're just trying to get to the right answer here. On the circle side, it's 12 and 3. You divide by using times 3 and 4 to get to 12. That means 2 times 4 is 8. If you didn't compare the 3 to the 12, you matched up the wrong sides. Guys, 6 and 2.5 don't go together. 8 does not go with anything else. It goes with a side we don't know. So the scale factor is what? Four. The scale factor is four. But that's not what this asked us for. This asked us solve for this. We get... All right, so we're not going to give points to that team for that. We're just going to throw this one up into the abyss of Hudson solved it, and I'm going to claim those points. Um, Easy. Good job. Mr. Hudson is no catcher. All right. I get points. Yeah. 
All right, so then it goes, we circle back, right? That was every team. So now, Franco, give me a number. One. This is not on your closure. Hey, this is not on your closure. But if it's not on your closure and we put it on the review game, you might be able to figure out why would this be an important problem Maybe for us to solve. Maybe it's going to be on the mastery. I don't believe you. Because you don't have it printed in front of you, I will do you the favor of coloring on this. By that, I mean highlighted. Martin, this problem's wrong on the closure and kind of upset with me. Uh -oh. Just practice. Well, and they already figured out it might be because maybe it's on the mastery. Very similar to that team activity we did, I don't even know when, a week ago, two weeks ago. statements like what's highlighted in blue up there, we, we sometimes fall into the trap door of putting the addition up there wrong. What's highlighted in blue, there were 33 more nurses than drones. If you move the word nurses, you have 33 more than drones. How would we show 33 more than drones? We add 33 to D, not to N, right? So this that's highlighted in blue is telling us N equals, what does N equal? Nurses was drones plus 33. Nurses was drones plus 33.
They're all just finishing up double checking calculations and solving the rest of it. So they got it. Like I can look at their work and, and see they got it. I want us to go over this together, you know, just in case you see this problem again, maybe on Thursday or Friday, like on your test. I, so at this point, take it out, like quit goofing around. It's time to bring it back together. Don't make me take stuff away, right? I don't want to be that person at the end of the year, but you got to make the choices that are correct. They tell us. There are 33 more nurses than drones. So nurses was D plus 33. This is easy to fall in the trap door. Sorry. So it's, it is scary because the trap door is so big. I guess I should say. It's easy to fall in the trap and write this backwards. So I'm trying to say this is really hard. Nurses is 33 more than drones. Then workers was 12 more than six times the drones. When we put all of this together, when we replace and substitute, and I'm not gonna show all this work, so if you want extra help, you should come visit me. W is 60, actually I think I am gonna show the next step of work just because. D is still just D, and nurses gets replaced with D plus 33, but now I'm gonna go kinda of fast. How many D when we put them all together? Eight. D plus, what do we have for our constants? 45. Skipping through some math, subtract 45 from both sides, then divide by 8. The drones came out to be 508. So, yeah, the workers, there are over 3,000 worker bees because there's a lot more of it. All right, so send somebody up from your team. Uh, technically, Franco picked that question. Sorry, I did not mean to do that. If you want extra help on that question, it is in the lesson from 627. If you want to come see me to talk about it, happy to do that. Oh, what question was that? One. Oh, yeah, that was number one. Franco was bold. Nice. All right, go give your, give your team points. Um... Amanda, pick a number. Any of the numbers that are still up there? Nine? Ooh. 148C. Some people that were using their time efficiently maybe already looked at this. Yeah. 
order of operations. If you are confident in what you're doing, make sure that you're telling your team and helping out those people who are less confident. Uh, who picked this problem? Amanda. So, Amanda's team, I'm going to keep the cards separate, is going to start us off when we play this again. I don't know if we'll continue it tomorrow or wait to continue it till Wednesday or Thursday. But, I would, hold up, hold up, I didn't say pack up yet, we got like five minutes left. I would be silly to not do anything to recognize Pi Day. I don't stop teaching class and like make it a whole separate day. We're going to learn a lot more about pi here very soon. But what pi is, is up on the board. Pi is actually, hey, we're, you, you can like work on this outside of class now too if you want. You know that the next problem we're solving together is 148C. It goes to Amanda's team first, but we're going to come back to this. So, what pi actually is, is if you have a circle... What does circum, you guys learned about this in foundations, what does circum mean? Around. around. So the circumference is the distance around. The diameter, like I drew up there, is the distance across. So imagine swimming across a lake versus having to walk all the way around it. Pi is that division. It is literally the circumference divided by diameter and that answer comes out to be pi. So really quickly, hopefully my speakers work, especially if I should 